Howdy folks, Deathslinger here, continuing where we left off on Hand of Fate 2. Let's get started here. I clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Alright, so... Looks like we've we've already finished the fool, so next is the magician. Nothing here is coincidence. The answer to every question is in the cards if you but look. Alright, and then we got our cards here. Let's just go with recommended. And you may take their recommendations here. if you wish. They will be sufficient for now. Yeah. All right, let's get started. We don't really have that many chart cards a to choose from, anyways. To heroism. How many adventures start thus? All righty. For one hundred years, I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game, and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Alright. Your conversation with a fur trader is interrupted as Malaclips arrives in a flurry. The whispers speak of trouble at the edge of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against the Blight. Hmm... Yeah, let's head, head there. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. A stonemason, a food wagon, and a weaponsmith. Weapon might be good, but you can never have enough food. Stonemason. I assume stonemason just gives you gold, I, I suppose. So let's go with the food wagon. Oh, excuse me. A food wagon headed to a nearby wedding offers you a ride. They gift you some food in exchange for not taking you the whole way. Okay. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. All right. Let's continue on. Let us learn what sort you are. Strong, clever, wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. <laughs> I love the way he says clever. Clever! You enter a competition of strength at a fair. A gold prize is available to the winner. Yeah, we've done this before. In the second round of the competition, you sit opposite the aged frame of Huntley Toothless. Interesting. <laughs> he boasts about once being a silencer for the Thieves Guild. Being a silencer is not very silent, is he? Constant reminder of death. The singular is die, as I'm sure you know, and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. 14, so nice, we made it. Huntley crumples in defeat almost instantly. You're lucky I'm not 20 or 30 years younger, he says, grumbling. Got some gold. Good, good. You take reward with from the from the purser on the way out of the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Very cool. Always treat those who feed you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. You chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. A wonderful, a wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Malaclips shakes his head. Poor old Chester. This is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women, coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. <laughs> Interesting. The old farmer hawks his wares to passerby, passersby. 
tarts, pies, and exotic, fr exotic fruits. Chester gives you a jolly wave. What would you like to buy on this fine morning? Exotic fruits. Yeah. Chester passes you a giant raisin from his wagon. Chester smiles at the exotic fruits for a while as if remembering a happy memory before he finally decides on a price. Now you wager for more than mere success and failure. You choose the very stakes themselves. Are you happy paying with this price? Yeah, sure. Why not? The Empire Captured soldiers too far. The North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. You find some Imperial soldiers strung up by Northerners. Fight to free them. You ready your weapon? Let us see if the mage can help you here. <laughs> a magician, a jester, and a vagabond. Okay. Companion ability left. Nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. I think I got hit once. Warrior's Axe. Is this a two-handed? Gain two recruits. Very good. Alright. And let's head to the next one. Commerce thrives in even the most unusual of locations. See what he has. All right, I think I'll save for now. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. The West Wind Tower bell chimes feverishly. The town crier bellows. There's corrupted inside the town. They broke through the sewers and into the, the Laos lane. Our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out. You arrive to find West Wen's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance to its poorest area, Loose Lane. We. Or is it Laos Lane? One of those. We cannot let the corruption spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted, even a little. Join the soldiers. Yeah. You join the fight against the corrupted. Going a little crazy there. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was my bad. There we go. I thought it was right trigger, it was left trigger. threat removed. You 
have ensured that these soldiers survived to aid the town's defense. The soldiers help you scavenge what you can for the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. Cool. Life itself, in exchange for life. As you hike through the mountains one fine day, you come across an injured traveler. Though he is clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, you sense something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You, mortal, come here, the creature commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself, and you will provide it. You draw your weapon, and the beast weakly raises its arm to defend itself. Spare me, and I'll make it worth your while. Ask how. Three days ago, I happened to feast upon one of your kind, a holy man of some nature, I believe, who could no doubt cure you of your wounds. Grant me a pittance of your blood to restore my strength, and I swear I shall bring him to you. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like this might be helpful in the future, but it could also backfire. Let's accept. As you lower your blade, he suddenly lunges at you. He takes a moment to regain his composure. You will not regret this. The shadows seem, shadows seem to gather around his person until nothing remains. Guess I didn't get the token. She has done rather better than I in the time that has passed. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries I have helped the mortals who f find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you on your journey? Well, we just lost some health, so let's, let's ask for some health. <laughs> may you live a long life, she says with a fragile wave of her hand. You feel a warm sensation through your body. They got themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Well, I mean, probably because I need them. But you find some Imperial soldiers strung up by Northerners. It's only four. Got this, no prob. Raider. Ye, yeah, come get some. Whoa. Could have gone better. A shield in more ways than one. More gold. Gain two recruits. Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Let's keep searching a little bit more. Yeah. We can buy some healing. Yeah. Good enough. Maybe we can sell some equipment. I don't really need a shield, so I can, I guess I'll sell the shields. They place themselves in these dire positions, and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. 
While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of the corrupted. Your investigation leads you to the distressed nobleman. Perched on the roof of his carriage, thank the gods I was heading to tea with the Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully into at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. Go after the soldiers. You rush into the forest and quickly encounter a squad of empire soldiers battling the corrupted. I don't know. Two guards? Hardly call that a squad. a little just like a slight delay when I dodge sometimes but the guards dead I hope not Although the corrupted have been vanquished, no Empire soldiers remain. You return to the road and find only the wreckage of the noble's carriage. Darn. Guess I wasn't able to the save him. Companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclipse's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. <laughs> A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope and flopped on the ground around him. Merc, Melikips calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. Okay. Malaclip steps forward as Merc counts his, the coins. Merc, old bean, the bard looks f furtively around before quickly waving it at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malaclips for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You sputter indigently. Indigently. I require a test of skill from him, he turns and points at you. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. Malaclips nods as if this were a fair request. You know, forget me not. <laughs> Eat the luminous purple flower. That sounds poisonous. Daisy, no. Forget me not, that sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> Eat the luminous purple flower. I don't know, I kind of want to try this one. It sounds, it sounds dangerous, but... Let's see to forget me not. The flower tastes pleasantly of berries and grass. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. Ah, nice. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. You feel a little starry eyed. Quick, what day is it? Malaclips and Merc wait urgently for you to answer. A good day. The florist and Bard exchange an improving glance. Merc nods, happy with the result. He beckons Malaclips closer. Of those of us left, you should seek Ira of the Vale. She may know something of the cure. Last I heard, she's hiding out in the underneath. Nicely Yay, done. I get a coin. Oh no, not her. Malaclips straightens his neck shawl nervously. 
The greasy goblin man giggles mani maniacally. Yes, her. She'll likely eat your bones before she lets you speak. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business to run. A business to run. With that, Meliclips's associate turns away and hurls a bouquet at a shocked passerby. Flowers, fresh flowers, buy them or I'll eat your eyes. That's definitely goblin talk if I ever heard any. Another chance to redeem yourself. Let's see how you handle it this time. Atop West Wind uh, Town Hall's a large bell tower. It's used to signal the day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields. But now it will summon West Wind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? Ring the bell. As night cloaks West Wind, you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. You survey any soldiers you've managed to recruit. You have gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's hoping you won't need any more. Give a rousing speech. Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. Your rousing speech imbues the soldiers with confidence and zeal. Inspired. Nice. May the gods bless you, hero, shouts a farmer listening by the stables. He's quickly bundled back into the, into the inn for safety. Hammer of the gods. Oh, hey. Look at that creature. Terror of West Wind. As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the terror awakes. Use Bash to break the terror's corrupted armor and defeat with a finisher before it regenerates. How do I bash again? <laughs> Let's take care of these extras here first. Break his armor first. Oh, Whoa. dodge! <laughs> no. Oh, oh, big damage. I see. And his armor regenerates back. Eh, ha ha! Victory. Mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. Does it satisfy you? This bloodshed? Yeah. Knowing those you destroy but one simple peasants going about their day. Yeah. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a town already saved. The magician returns to the deck, but now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. Now you have learned the simplest of ways to build your deck. Each challenge will provide its own unique trials. Here are some more tools to keep you in good stead. Man-eating tree. for convincing Merc to help Malaclips. Ooh, 
cool. As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. So we have the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Emperor. Then I think I might just go in that order. So we'll probably start with the High Priestess next. But I think this is a good place to uh, leave it off for now. But yeah, it's, I love this game so much. And I can't wait to play more. But thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you when I see you. Deathslinger, out.